I'm really excited about today. Today we are making beer brats and I'm going to show you how I've made beer brats for years and years. Uh, it's a special way I make them and you're going to love it and we're going to love it because we get to eat it. Stay tuned. We're going to start out with Johnsonville brats. You got to get the Johnsonville brats, original brats. They sell beer brats, do not get the beer brats. You're putting the beer in the beer brats. So get the originals, not the beer brats. Okay, what you want to do, we're going to poke holes in this to get the beer in it. I know a lot of people that cook sausage never do that. It'll let all the juices out. Oh, these will be juicy. Trust me. I've done this a time or two. And on the other side. Try not to stab your finger. Don't want blood on it. All right, here we go. Now we're going to put them in here. This is really small but it's all I had room for on my motorcycle and my trailer but oh it's gonna work out perfect I think next cover them in beer since this brats are a German food I got German beer Heineken in keeping with the theme Ein Bier bitte that's German you didn't know I knew German did you My cameraman never talks to me. <laughs> well, I feel like I have to be quiet. I feel like... I'm behind the scenes. I feel like I get no respect. You don't. There's one beer. And if you don't have enough beer, you can finish it off with water. You just need something for them to boil in. And I think two beers is going to be just about perfect with this. Oh, yeah. That's perfect there. Now, I also add a couple of uh, extra spices to it. When I'm boiling something, and I never see, I, even pasta, when I boil pasta, I like to season the water when I'm boiling pasta. I've never in my life seen anybody else do that. The same thing with this. I wanna put some seasoning in with that beer to make it even better. So the first thing I put in is onion powder. Be liberal. And chili powder. That is our boiling concoction right there. Beer, onion powder, chili powder. That's it. All right, now we're going to put it over the fire so we can get it boiling. Once again, we're using my trusty tripod that I used in my chili cooking video. If you haven't seen that, the link is up here or over here, whichever it is. I get that confused every time. All right. I'm wearing a glove because I know this carabiner is probably pretty hot. All right, make sure I'm there I go touching it anyway. Ah, oh, smoke. All right. Now these things are pretty handy because you can lower it up and down. So we're gonna lower it down and get it boiling. There we go. And we wait. <laughs> Once it starts boiling, we're gonna let it boil about 10, 15 minutes. Suck boiling. All right, now it's boiling now, so we are going to let it boil for 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes now. We're going to take them off the fire and set them up here. Then we got to get our grill put together. How hot is this? Not too hot. Set this over here. This is this is a pretty handy little tripod device here. It comes with the tripod legs 
and you can lower it up and down if you do it right. I've seen so many videos where they didn't do it right and they wasn't able to lower it up and down. But this thing, I mean, I use this to cook chili on with a big Dutch oven, but you can add a grill to it and, and lower it up and down. I think what we want to do, do it about there. That way I can, I can go all the way down to there or up to there. And we're not, something's going on here. All right, now it's level, right? That look good? All right, I'm gonna lower it about right there. All right, now we put the brats on the grill. Have you ever picked up a pair of these and not done this? There's not a single person in the world that has it. Seems like we were just discussing that. All right, let's see how this goes. So I can do this without dropping them in the fire. Let's see, we got how many, six of them? So we wanna, I want them to turn the same direction. So I'll know when they've been flipped. Mm. Nothing like hot boiling water hitting you in the face. Okay, we have five of them. I thought we had six. And smoke in the eye always helps. All right, now let's lower it down and sear them puppies. See, this is what I mean. Come show this. See, the, the way you're supposed to loop it up like that, a lot of people, they come up and they go and they tie it around here. It needs to go up through there and down there because there's a smooth edge there and there. And then you can do this. So you got this little thing here. This is what makes it stop. So you can lift that up and you can lower it wherever you want. And then this right here, you just let weight pull that up and it keeps it from sliding up or down. It's a very handy device. And it, it's Walmart sells these. It's like cheap. I forgot how much I paid for it. I'll give you a Walmart link. How's that? I'll put a Walmart link down in the description. Because you always got to look down in my description of my videos because there's always good stuff down there. Well, people always, all the time asking me, well, how do I get this such and such? I'm like, oh, if the link's in the description, but it's, it's my fault because I forgot to tell them in the video, the link is in the description. I apologize. I'm trying to get better at this. I've only been doing YouTube for like two years, so can you imagine what next year is going to be like? It'll be a Hollywood production, right? In the woods. Okay, enough of that. What I'd like to do is raise them up a little bit so I don't get so much smoke in my eyes. So let's do that. See, this is another thing handy about this. Raise it up to where you can do all your work here. Spin it around. Ooh, that's looking good. That's looking good. That is perfect right there. I hope if you're watching this at home, your mouth is watering. Tell me that's not looking good. That's looking freaking awesome. And those are perfect cooking coals right there, by the way. You don't want to cook stuff like this in full big flames coming up because it will just put soot and stuff all over it. It won't be any good. That right there is perfect. It's, it's broken down into just hot coals. You're still getting that wood smoky flavor. It's just adding delicious awesomeness to it. I should be a camp cook. If you enjoy the content that I put on my channel, I started something new. This is officially the first announcement. Think about becoming a Patreon. With Patreon, you'll have early access to all the videos, 
There's extra videos that are on there that aren't on my YouTube channel. And you can get in it as little as $3. I have already got one Patreon. Shout out to Mandy Gaston. She became a VIP Patreon. If you enjoy this content and the stuff that I put out, please help support my channel. All right, these things are cooking really good. Let's see what they look like. Oh, these are, these are perfect. If I don't flip them in the fire, that's number one, don't flip them in the fire. Yeah, these are good. Okay, we're gonna raise these up so they don't burn. And that'll keep them warm and we have a serving platter right here. For beer brats, these are the perfect ingredients. I got some top sliced buns, hot dog buns, sauerkraut, keeping the whole German theme going on, mustard, if you prefer spicy mustard, use spicy mustard, and some good old shredded cheddar cheese. All right, let's open this puppy up. This is a non-electric can opener for you people that have never seen one. Now you can get sauerkraut in the jars. When I'm at home, I actually do that. But since I'm camping and I had to bring it with me in my motorcycle trailer, I just got a can. I mean, why not? Okay, so now let's let's create the perfect brat here. See now these are top split. But the cool thing about that is you can open them up really big and they don't break all the way too like normal hot dog buns. So what I like to do, mustard. These are really handy. I'll put a link down in the description. You can put condiments in these, mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, whatever you want. Don't skimp on the mustard. All right, now we need a beer brat. I'm gonna get this guy right here. The bun could almost be bigger, couldn't it? See, I repeat myself. <laughs> That's how you do it. All right, let's get some sauerkraut on there. Sauerkraut and cheese. My mouth is watering right now. <laughs> I can smell it. See, when I make them at home, I do them on a barbecue grill, so they're not really smoked. This set on there with no flame, just smoke coming up. So this is gonna have a smoky flavor. Anything over a campfire is better, and anything you eat outdoors is better. Smush it down in there a little. Are we ready for this? Jason, are you ready for this? Jason's yes. ready for this. Hmm. It was worth going camping just for this. It's so good. It's so good. All right, you gotta make this. Especially if you go camping, do it over fire so to get the smoky flavor. But yeah, this is good. And time for mine. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more ideas like this. Have a good one.